Measurement of Angles, Level 7. In this video, we will go over more challenging examples involving congruent angles and algebraic expressions. Let's take a look at the first example. Given that angle CAR is a right angle and the measurement of angle CAT is equal to 37 degrees, 66 minutes, 10 seconds, Find the measurement of angle RAT. In this problem, we are provided with a figure, a classification of an angle, and the measurement of an angle. We are asked to determine the measurement of an angle. Let's start the problem by labeling the given information on the diagram. We know from the given information that angle CAR is a right angle, so we draw a small square corner to denote this. We are also given the measurement of angle CAT. Next, let's determine the geometric relations of the problem. Since angle CAR is formed by angle CAT and angle RAT, we can set up the following geometric relation. The sum of the measurement of angle CAT and angle RAT is equal to the measurement of angle CAR. We can now substitute the measurement of angle CAT and the measurement of angle CAR into this geometric relation. At this point, we can now solve for the unknown angle measurement by subtracting the measurement of angle CAT from the measurement of angle CAR. Before we do this, we need to write both angles in a subtraction friendly form. The 90 degree angle can be written as 89 degrees, 59 minutes. 60 seconds after converting a degree into 60 minutes and converting one minute into 60 seconds. The measurement of angle CAT has 66 in the minutes place. Since this is more than 60 minutes, we need to convert 60 minutes into one degree. Doing that, we obtain an alternative form of this angle. Now that we have modified both angles, let's go ahead and carry out the subtraction. So we subtract the seconds minutes, and degrees from one another. In the end, we obtain 51 degrees, 53 minutes, 50 seconds as the final answer. Let's take a look at the next example. If angle CBD is congruent to angle DBE, find the measure of angle A. In this problem, we are provided with a diagram with angles denoted numerically and algebraically. We are told that two angles are congruent, and we are asked to find the measurement of an angle. Alright, it seems like we need to figure out a way to solve for x, so that we can use it to find the measurement of angle A. Let's go ahead and set up the geometric relations of the problem. We know that angle CBD is congruent to angle DBE. This means that the measurement of the angles is the same. So we can equate the measurement of these angles. Now we can substitute the numerical and algebraic expression for each angle as follows. Now it is just a matter of solving for x. Doing that, we obtain x equals 50. The last step is to determine the measurement of angle A. So we substitute the value of x into the algebraic expression for the measurement of angle A. Evaluating the expression and simplifying, we obtain 55 degrees, and this is our final answer. Alright, let's try the next problem. Given angle ABC is a right angle, angle 1 is equal to 3x plus 4 degrees, angle 2 is x plus 6 degrees, find the measurement of angle 1. In this problem, we are provided with a diagram and we are given three pieces of information about the diagram. We are asked to determine the measurement of angle 1. We are given that angle ABC is a right angle. This means that the measurement of angle ABC is 90 degrees. We are also given an algebraic expression for angle 1 and angle 2. We are going to use the geometric relations of the problem along with algebra to determine the measurement of angle 1. Notice that angle ABC is formed by angle 1 and angle 2. This means that if we were to add the measurement of angle 1 and angle 2, it should equal the measurement of angle ABC. 
Since we know that angle ABC is a right angle, we can set the sum of angle 1 and angle 2 equal to 90. Now that we have used the geometric relations of the problem, we can now use algebra to solve the problem. We are given an algebraic expression for angle 1 and angle 2. So let's go ahead and substitute these expressions into our geometric relation. Now it is just a matter of solving for x. Simplifying the expression and solving for x, we obtain x equals 20. Now, this is not our final answer. We need to make sure we answer the question. We need to determine the measurement of angle 1. So we go back to the algebraic expression for angle 1 and evaluate it with the value of x we found. Doing that and simplifying, we obtain 64 degrees for the measurement of angle 1. It is important to first set up the geometric relations of a geometry problem before attempting to solve it by using algebra. Also, keep in mind that you may need to solve a sub-problem as a step to solve the overall problem. In this case, we had to solve for x before we were able to solve for the measurement of angle 1. Alright, in our next video, we will go over a problem that involves inequalities and a problem that has an algebraic expression as a solution.